All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Troy Fun, and today's day is Monday, December the 2nd, so we are now getting closer towards the holiday season and all that jazz. But as you can see over, well, not right here where the wall is, but I mean over here where the actual gameplay is, we got a new special research task, folks, so everybody should be aware of this. So this one's called a challenging development. It is cold. It is really windy out here. So what is this about? So I already uh, looked through what Professor Daddy have to say, so I'm not going to bore y'all with that. So basically, the new Team Go Rocket special research task is back, and you're doing the same stuff over and over again as you did last month. The difference is, however, is the reward. So... What will you get this time for defeating Giovanni? So the word is that you're going to get a Shadow Zapto. So that's what you're going to get when you defeat Giovanni. So as you can see right here, we're looking at spin 10 Pokestops, defeat 3 Tingo Rocket Grunts, and catch 1 Shadow Pokemon. So go over here. Where they at? There's one right there. There's one right there. So and what is that? Oh, that's a Metatite Ray. And I think there was one. No, I thought. Okay, that's a gem. So yeah, there's two Tingo Rocket Grunts right here already so i don't know how long they've been here for so we're going to head over there where well, i'm gonna battle this gym because there's a field research that i need to complete and then we're going to head down there and battle those two grunts and move on from there so yeah stay tuned all right so it is really cold so i bundle up just a little bit and as you can see over there we are dealing with a male tingo rocket grunt as i am right by traffic so bear with the background noise and it says normal does not mean weak. So either this could be a Rotata, which is what we want, or a Porygon, which is not what we want because we're going to have to purify these shallow Pokemon. And we want the ones that cost the less amount of Stardust. So like Rotata and Zubats, that only cost 1,000 Stardust as opposed to Porygons, which is going to cost 5,000 Stardust. So you see where I'm going with this. All right, so let's go into the battle. And I'm going to go with a different squad here because if this is... A Porygon. That thing's going to tear up through my squad. Porygon, then Porygon 2, and Porygon Z, whatever. It's going to really tear up through my squad. So we're going to go with a different squad here. And let's see. I'm going to go with Golem, Golem, and let's go put that Golem first. All right, so here we go. And this is my third Tingo Rocket Grunt. And after that, I will complete everything. Yep, there it is, Porygon. I thought so. I had completed everything from step one once I defeat this Tingo Rocket Grunt. So, again, it's basically the same stuff you're doing from last month, meaning step two will be... Oh, 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 oh ooh, yeah, use that. Step two will involve you to spend Pokestops five days in a row. So it's like, uh. So we back to that again. So... And hopefully we can take out the Porygon. Yes, we did. So, yeah, that's what erates everybody. So we're going to be stuck for the next five days or so spinning Pokestops and not moving on with the steps until the fifth day. So be prepared for that. And then after that, we're going to go through step three as we're going to get closer towards Giovanni. I think we're going to get Giovanni on step five. So be wary of that. And then the last one going to be Porygon Z. Oh, oh, guys, no, it's a Snorlax. That caught me by surprise. But because of my last Pokemon, we should be in good uh, shape right here, which is Dialga. Dialga is a beast when dealing with this Tingo Rocket Grunt. So I highly recommend using Dialga. And one of these days, I'm going to do a video on, like, the best Pokemon to use as a whole against these Tingo Rocket Grunts. So there's some that's like, oh, okay, yeah, he's going to bring out water Pokemon, so use grass, or we're going to use water Pokemon, well, I just said that, Bam. or you're going to use fire Pokemon, so use water, things of that nature, but in case they bring something out that surprised you with that third and final Pokemon, put Dialga in your back pocket, man, a really good Dialga with Drake, with, what is it, Dragon Breath, Draco Media, Yo, Drake -O. and you'll be straight, just like I am right here, so we took down this Tingo Rocket Grunt, it would be cool if I got a Snorlax here, but no, but whatever, I already got a few Shadow Snorlax already, and this is going to be a Porygon, a Shadow Porygon, which is, again, not what I want. I prefer a Rattata or a Zubat, but it is what it is. So we're going to capture this thing real quick. Great throw on the Porygon. This should be the catch. One, two, and three. So we took it down with ease. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, okay, 3,000 starters. Ah!
thought it was going to be five, but no, I was incorrect. Three is decent, but again, all that adds up when you got to evolve like 15 of them. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so we're going to keep that for now. Let me see what that win is. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've been had that. Oh, there's a... Okay, I need one more for me to get the rocket radar. And the Alolan Rat is not shiny. I already got one of those shiny. I want another one. All right, so now let's take a look at our special resource task. So we completed all of this. So we're going to claim all of these rewards right here. And these rewards for step one, I will admit, are hot garbage, aside from the Stardust. All right, and we're going to ignore what Professor Daddy has to say. And here it is right here. Spin a Pokestop five days in a row, purify 15 Shadow Pokemon, and win five raids. So, now it turns out that bottom one to win five raids, this coming Wednesday, a.k.a. the day this video drops, it would be Legendary Raid Hour. So I would be taking part in that. And I will be bringing that to you guys in terms of how to deal with Terrakion in case you haven't done so yet and things of that nature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin a Pokestop. And there is a raid, right? There's two raids here, actually. So I'd rather not. I, I, will, I will do one. So it'd probably be this one right here because that is PvP relevant. And then I'm going to spin one Pokestop. Can I get that one? And I should be able to get that one. And... My items full, so we're going to clear some items. In fact, I need to revive some Pokemon. Yeah, see all of these right here. Yep, all of these. Revive all of these. And again, this is downtown Farmington Hills, in case you didn't recognize the area. And it is very noisy here. A lot of people like to hunt their horns here. All right. Okay, no, we're still not there yet. We're going to heal up all these Pokemon. Heal them up. Heal them up. I don't care. Heal them up. Heal them up. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Get them shinies down there. Oh, I missed some up here. Okay, whatever. All right, so we should be straight. Now, let's try this again. Let's get this spin. There we go. So we got the first one down, and we got to wait four more days before we can continue on with step two, or really finish step two, move on to step three. So today is Monday, so we're looking at Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're looking at Friday before we can move on. And by that point, my... Uh, what is it? Legendary Radar video will be out for you guys. And then we can continue on. And I may be at a new... Sp no, that would be Thursday. But, yeah, I, may I will be at a new spot for you guys for next Monday's video. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to battle that Pokemon right there, the, the Mud Stomp. And there you go. So, yeah, stay tuned. The Mud Stomp, my Stomp. <laughs> I feel like I've been here already. Oh, well, because that's where the gym is, or that's where the raid is, rather. So, my stomp, unlike what I said in the last clip, that's what I'm dealing with right here. You know what? I'm going to just, well, no, I'm going to take this now as quickly as possible. So, I'm going to show up in here with my best grass-type attackers, and then put that there. I don't know why the Dragonite is there, but that's pretty much straight. Now, look at that. Where have we seen this scenario before or heard this scenario before? So here I am, by myself, in a raid. My Pokemon set. I'm ready to go. And I can take this down by myself. Where's the ready button? Yeah. That was one of the ideas that I suggested in my last video, Niantic. Where's the ready button? So I got to sit here for 67 seconds. And it's cold out here. My hands are freezing, even though I'm wearing gloves. But, yeah. This is going to be a fun 60 seconds, a minute, to sit through and wait for the timer to go down and hope that I don't get booted or lagged out or the game freeze or whatever the case may be. They have to do all this over again. But that's beside the point. So I'm just going to do one raid for you guys. And then I'm going to walk around, maybe, or drive around, whichever one, and see if there's any more Team Go Rocket uh, Pokestops because... Even though I technically don't need to battle them to complete step two, I do need a Shadow Pokemon. I don't know how many Shadow Pokemon I have in my collection. So I think I'm going to need more Shadow Pokemon. So that's why I'm still hanging around. We got 16 seconds left, so that went by quicker than usual. But, yeah, that's beside the point. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take down this Moss Stomp, and then we're going to capture it and see what the IVs are looking like. Hopefully they are terrible, so it could be useful in PvP. Who knows? But yeah, here we go. We got this mod stop. So yeah, let's go. All 
All right, so your boy took down the Mod Stomp, and let's see. What, well, I don't know what perfect is on this thing or what's terrible. 990 CP. That's what we did over here. Two golden rats, which is what I need. And look at that. We did one of the five raids. So, again, that's the only raid I'm going to do today because Legendary Raid Hour is this Wednesday. So, I'm going to save my free raid passes. No, I don't want that. Save my free raid. Let's use that. Save my free raid passes for that. And let's see if we can catch it with the great throw, with the pineapple. Now, there are two things that are currently in the works right now. I mentioned one of those things in my Pokemon Go live stream. I think it was in my Pokemon Go live stream and possibly in my last Pokemon Sword and Shield live stream, which was this past Saturday. So that was actually a Pokemon Sword live stream. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I mentioned the surprise in that live stream, but I know I definitely mentioned it in the Pokemon Go live stream, which was yesterday as I'm recording this video. But there is another idea in the works right now. And I'm not going to... You know, we feel what it is because it's not finalized. I may not take part in it at all. Okay, I can't catch that thing with the pineapple. So I'm going to use a regular Raz. The objective here is to not race golden Raz on this thing. But the second idea that's in the words, if things go as I hope they would, then this idea will go down, ironically enough, December the 13th, which is a Friday. <laughs> yeah. Friday the 13th. So it's ironic because not just because of the day, but because something else drops on that day, and that is my beat album. So the Kyoto Hour Vice 7 drops that Friday at midnight, December the 13th. Yeah, that day. So so that will drop on that day. And then the other idea that I'm working on will start on that day. So that particular day, as there's a real noise coming from that way, but yeah, that particular day is going to be crazy. How many Premier Balls do I have? I've just been throwing the thing in great balls or great throws. Right, This thing keep popping out. Let's see if we caught it this time. Where are we at? Eight? Oh, gosh. You know what? Let me use a silver pine now. Why is that thing so noisy? What is going on over there? But anywho... So, again, I have two things in the works. One of them will be later on in the month of December, either on the 21st or the 28th, which is a Saturday, on my live stream days. So, you kind of have a good idea of what's going on there. And the other one will go down on that day, which is not this Friday, but next Friday, by the way. And also, so, also by the my beat album will drop on that day. Finally, we caught the Mars Stop. But, yeah, so a lot going on in December. You do not, thank you, you do not want to miss any of it. It's all right. It's decent IVs. I may transfer it. All right, so let's look around and see if we have any more Team Go Rocket Pokestops. And the answer to the question is, unfortunately, no. So, I'm not sure. And I already checked that. That's not shiny. Oh, wait, no, that's one right there. Where is that? That is that way. Okay, so we're going to head over there, battle that Team Go Rocket grunt. And then get the shadow Pokemon because again, let me let me look and see how many of the shadow Pokemon that I have on me. Oh, I actually have a lot. So, but yeah, you know it don't hurt to get more. So yeah, let's go this way. Let's go. All right, so we found another Tingo Rocket Grunt. So hopefully you guys can see me. But yeah. We got two dogs behind me. Oh, look, it's a Grimer. All right, so let's take the thing out real quick, and we can get out this code. It's kind of, well, it's a little bit better than what it was when I first started recording, even though it's technically dark, and it's got dark at, like, 526 p.m. Come on, Mother Nature. Like, but anywho. All right, so we took down the Grimer. I was not paying attention at all. What's next? Stone Edge? Well, Stone Edge on the muck, rather. But, yeah. So, that's going to do it for today's video as soon as I take down this Team Go Rocket Grunt here real quick. Now, I didn't need my third Pokemon. So, we're going to capture more likely the Grimer. And then, we are going to call it a wrap for this video. So, again, the next video will be the Legendary Raid Hour featuring Terrakion. And, hopefully by Monday, right when you guys are watching this, rather, right when you're watching it... We can continue on with step three as we are making our way back to Giovanni and towards the Shadow Zapdos, which looks dope as heck if I do say so myself, or the theory of that looks dope. 
as I do say so myself. So again, I do not want to raise the golden res. And we are going to grow it. Bam, great throw. There should be a catch right here. And give me a one. Give me a two. And give me a three. And we got it. So, yes, that will do it for your boys. So I'm going to call it a wrap. So with that said, y'all know who this is. This is my new Jake Aspie, a.k.a. new CMA Smith, saying peace out, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.